Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another episode on the commands of Christ. In this episode, we want to introduce a new command. Our command comes from Luke chapter 9, starting in verse 23, where it says, And he said to them all, this is speaking of Jesus, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Gabe, this command is packed full, and it's going to take, I feel like, maybe four episodes to really dig into it. But one of the fun things I think about this command is, is that while it goes completely against our normal way of thinking and even our nature, as we'll see, it has so much life in it. It has so much peace and it has so much joy that can be a byproduct of applying this command to our lives. So hopefully that um, encourages our listeners as we start into this. But as we do start into this episode, Gabe, one of the things we like to do in this in this first episode on any given command is to talk about the context. So let's let's look at the context here in Luke 9, 23. So 923 is where we get the command. And he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily and follow me. But let's read the next few verses to kind of get the idea of where this is going. For whosoever will save his life, for whosoever will save his life, shall lose it but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it for what is a man advantaged if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away for whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words of him shall the son of man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his fathers, and in and of the holy angels. Gabe, so the command that we're talking about is deny yourself. And I feel like I appreciate you giving kind of sharing some of the verses after it because it gives us context for it. I think another important way to get context of, of, of a passage is to look at the other places it was mentioned in the Gospels. And I want to specifically highlight from Matthew 16 because I want us to look at a little bit leading up to when Jesus gave in this parallel account when Jesus gave this command about denying self and taking up the cross because I think it gives us some really important insight into the heart of our Lord Jesus and how he lived this command did and um obviously then told us to do the same so look at in in matthew chapter 16 um i want to go back to verse 21 because i think this gives us some really important background from that time because remember it's deny yourself and take up your cross Mm. right and look at what it says of of, of our lord it says from that time forth jesus began Jesus to shew unto his disciples how he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. And I just want to say this before we go on. I think of just how our Lord Jesus was the best example of this, obviously. And, but just how the scripture says in Philippians 2 that he became obedient unto death, even the death of a cross. And so it was like he lived a crucified life where he where right. he wasn't where he wasn't focused on himself he didn't live for himself he lived for his father right mm-hmm. and so just to see and modeling how we're supposed to live as believers right. and so he became obedient unto death right even the death of a cross in other words mm-hmm. he walked daily in the crucified life giving us the example of how we were supposed to walk as well mm-hmm. but i think of how it says in um, as it goes on in verse 22, you know, we read about Peter's response to the Lord Jesus saying he was going to be crucified. It says, Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord. This shall not be unto thee. Mm-hmm. So obviously Peter reacted, kind of like we all do when we hear about denying ourselves. Right. like, no, I don't right. want to deny myself. You know, I don't want the cross. You know, that's our, a fleshly reaction, right? But look at how Jesus responded. He, he talked about what that, that, that reaction was sourced in. He said, but he turned and said unto Peter, get thee behind me, Satan, for thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Wow. And, and so I think that we have to see that it, that we need to be savoring the things of God and 
not the things of men. And and when we're indulging ourselves and we're focused on ourselves and we're living for ourselves, we're really savoring mm-hmm. the things of men. But when we deny ourselves and we take up the cross, we're savoring the things of God. And and it goes then it goes on to verse twenty four says then said Jesus unto his disciples if any man will come after me let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me, and so I think that's just an important background context as we consider this command deny yourself. And Gabe, I think, you know, you have to take this command in its context because if you just think of well we're just commanded to deny ourselves just for the sake of denying ourselves, um, that doesn't give very much hope. But the rest of the command in the context is if you deny yourself, take up your cross and follow Jesus, you actually gain your life. You actually get actually what it is. It's the life of Jesus, which liberates us from sin, self, and the world. And that's what's so beautiful. But, you know, what I love about this example about Peter here, who's in some ways, I don't know if attacking would be the right word, but he's he's like, basically, don't say that, Jesus. I mean, how could you say that? You know, because think about this. Who was Jesus to Peter? Peter had forsaken basically everything to follow Jesus. And his identity was found in Jesus in the sense of like, this was his master. This was his Lord. He was following him. And now he's saying, I'm going to die, you know? But at this point, Peter was operating in the natural mind, in the fleshly mind. And our natural mind, our natural inclination is to preserve ourselves, is to, um, is to take care of ourselves, and is to protect ourselves. And when I think, you know, we do need to do that, and that's not... Um, in, in, in the physical realm, what Jesus is really is, is speaking of here is denying ourselves in the sense of putting God's will above our own will. And um, I think, Gabe, one of the challenges that, our, that I might have or maybe our, our listeners might have is that this just, it just flies in the face of our human nature but the point about this command is exchanging in many ways our nature for god's nature Mm -hmm. our mind for god's mind and i don't think we can really fully get to the depths of this command gabe without doing that without asking god god would you give me your mind on this command would you show me what is my life really to be lived for who am i to be living for well, and I think, too, when we think about this command, deny yourself, like, it's like, you know, you, we, we, we could think about it in, you know, people could think about it in a very negative light, like it's this grave, austere call to deny yourself. Um, and, and, and obviously, this idea of denying self is very unpopular in our modern culture, even in our modern Christian culture that wants to say life's all about you and you being mm-hmm. happy and, you know, all those things. But, but here's the thing is, you know, we could think of, oh, deny yourself is just this grave, austere call, but I actually believe that it's an invitation to experiencing abundant life and joy in Jesus. And here's what I mean by that, is that the reality is when we think of living for self, which would be the opposite of denying ourselves, you know what living for self brings? And we've all experienced it. Living for self brings bondage. Yes. Living for self brings darkness. Mm -hmm. Living for self brings depression. Living for self brings discouragement. And so... When the Lord delivers us from living for ourselves, right. he's actually delivering us from that bondage and right. from that darkness that we might live for him. Scripture says if one died for all, then all died, that we who live should not live unto ourselves anymore, That's but right. unto him. Yes. And so I think that we need to see that the Lord Jesus is calling out of ourse- us out of ourselves, out of our bondage, out of our darkness, out of living for us, to live for him to experience his life, to experience mm-hmm. his joy, to experience his peace. And yes, there's a challenge to it. Yes, there's a discipline of denying self that that, mm-hmm. that, there, that there's the, the struggle we have because we tend to want to love and nurture self. But when we embrace the cross and we deny self and we're willing to lose our life in that way, you know what we find? 
the abundant, glorious resurrection, overcoming life of Jesus, permeating mm. every part of our life. So I think this is so important to see because the reality, Nate, that I think this com- is undergirds this command is we were created to live for something far bigger than ourselves. Amen. So when we deny ourselves, the reason, part of the reason we deny self is because I was made for something bigger than me, right? To live for me would be to live for something so small, something so petty, and something so much less than what God has. So to deny myself is acknowledging the reality. I was created for something bigger, something greater, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. That is his kingdom. That is his glory. That is his will. And in that we find true fulfillment because that's what we're made for. We do. We do, Gabe. And, And really... Gabe, what what we're doing with this and what we're talking about is, in many ways, taking our mind off the earthly, Mm -hmm. off the temporal, and putting it on the internal. And I think we're just going to see that come through and through, um, you know, as we talk about this command. But here, as we kind of wrap this episode up, Gabe, one of the things that's really helpful in talking about this command to deny yourself is understanding in many ways we triumph through death now that's like whoa that's a strong statement what are you saying here so john 12 23 says this and jesus answered them saying the hour has come that the son of man should be glorified Wow. Okay. He's going to be recognized. This is a exciting, powerful moment. But then he follows it up with verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But I love how this verse doesn't stop there, Gabe. It says, but if it die, Mm -hmm. it bringeth forth much fruit not just a little bit of fruit not just barely making it it's much fruit and then it follows it up with verse 25 that says jesus says he that loveth his life shall lose it and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal and you see that reward gabe of life eternal and setting our mind on the spiritual Mm -hmm. instead of just the temporal And then verse 26 says here, if any man serve me, let him follow me. Gabe, Jesus is our example. We are following him. We're not following ourselves. We're not following um, the most new and greatest celebrity. We're not, we're following Jesus. He says, if any man will serve me, let him follow me. And this is beautiful. And where I am, there shall also be my servant be and if any man serve me him will my father honor yeah i love that because he's giving us the way he says except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die it abides alone but if it dies it brings forth much fruit and this is such an incredible principle nate that it's like as we embrace the cross as we embrace death Mm. to self this is totally the opposite the way we would think of but as we embrace the cross and as we embrace death to self we're actually embracing fruitfulness for the kingdom of God. Like, 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 like when, yes. we, when we die to self and we embrace the cross, then the Lord Jesus, the fruit of his resurrection life is seen through us. That's right. And I think it's part of in light of this that Paul was able to say in, in Philippians 3, starting verse 7, look at what he said. He said, but what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. You see that denial of self. He said, those things that were gained, I count but loss. And then listen to what he said for, the, for, for Christ, right? And then he say, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss wow. for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. Right? And so this is in many ways the denying of self. It's mm-hmm. counting everything but dung, everything else but loss for the surpassing excellency mm-hmm. Of knowing our Lord Jesus, it goes on. Paul goes on to say that he may know Jesus and the power of his resurrection and in the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable to his right. death. And so as we realize, as we see the surpassing, here's, here, here's what I'm getting at. It is seeing and beholding the, and understanding the surpassing excellency of Christ 
that causes us to unreservedly deny ourselves, count everything but loss, to drop everything that we would hold to because we want to in fully embrace mm-hmm. the Lord Jesus Christ because we see who he is and his excellency, his majesty, his power. We are made for him. And so to deny ourselves is to embrace him. Amen. And Gabe, it's really an exchange in a lot yeah. of ways. It's yeah. setting aside me and in my wants and my desires, which like you said, really, honestly, just, I mean, they might temporarily give me pleasure, but then in the end, it's bondage. It's death in a lot of ways to gain Christ. And what a glorious truth. And so for our listeners, we hope that you've been encouraged through this episode. In our next three episodes, we're going to be digging deeper into the command to deny yourself. And we hope that you are encouraged through this. God bless you. Thank you for joining us.